Welcome back. Hello, neighbors. Well, yes, it's the last segment. It's the WTF, what the facts. And uh, throughout the show, I exaggerate, I uh, hypothecate, I uh, make all kinds of mistakes uh, because I'm throwing my hands around and everything else. And the WTF, Frank, um, shows our truth in journalism by correcting all the mistakes I made in today's show. So, Frank, tell us, what are the facts? All right, well, uh, for starters, you mentioned that Paul Manafort was, thank you, uh, was in For 11 years. Uh, You mentioned that he's in prison. He is not in prison. He, I mean, excuse me, you mentioned that he's in jail when in actuality he's in prison. And anybody that's been in the county lockup or a couple of nights at the tombs (laughs) knows, and anybody that's been at Otisville knows that there's a huge difference between prison and jail. Okay, so fair Paul enough. Manafort is in prison. Well, now he's, My in, bad. now he's in the hospital. But he will, when he's I'll done drink. at the hospital, he'll... I'll drink. Okay. Um, you also indicated that he was sentenced to 11 years in prison, when in actuality it was only seven and a half years But in the prison. concurrency, like, they made him concurrent. If they put him all, he would have had 11. I'll have to check your math on that Give, one. give me a okay. maybe on that All right, one. We'll I'll drink maybe. anyway, but okay, fine. Um, and in the penultimate segment of the first hour, you indicated that we were going into a hard break. We were not. We were going into a floating break. And you talked about the people that are in the country illegally that now... I was the, trying to get that guest to shut up because yeah. I said, finally, in our last minute, yeah. and then he kept rolling, so... I used, like, one of my terms. We got a hard break here. Right, but it's a We don't have any hard breaks. No, we do have... We we do have We have one at the top of the hour. That's right. And at this top of the hour, shortly. That's right. Two hard breaks. All right. right. So I was using some some slangism there. Right. Um, Now... I'm like Janoris Jenkins. I was slang. um, You also indicated that the people who are in New York State and in the country illegally who can now get licenses, these are folks that broke into our country. That's not necessarily the case. Many of them may have come here. In fact, actually, most of them have come here uh, through legal means, through visas, and then they've just overstayed their visas. So they didn't necessarily break in. They just stayed longer than they were supposed to. Fair enough. I was exaggerating. But, I mean, for the most part, if they're here illegal... They're, to me, they're committing a crime, and the yeah, crime is in progress. Sure. Maybe they didn't b- kick in the back door. Maybe we invited them over for a cup of tea. That doesn't mean they can take up shop in our living room and live there for the rest of their life. I mean, you know, they, if we let them in on a, on a process, then they got to get out when the process is up. So they're still Fair lawbreakers, I, as far as I'm concerned. And um, I don't know if you know, but in New York City, it's uh, up to a $200,000 fine for using the term illegal alien. And uh, we used it about seven times in today's show, so we could be looking at a buck, one hundred seventy-five thousand in fines right now well, from I, uh, Mayor De Blasio. And on top of it, I pr- I'm, I'm thinking about giving people twenty bucks to sleep, homeless people twenty bucks to sleep in front of City Hall to annoy his life. So we may be in for some big fines well, here. Well, they don't have to just sleep there; they can camp out there. They have a right to do so. That's right. It's a constitutional right in the U.S. now, according to the Supreme Court, that uh, if you're homeless. You have a right to live outdoors and do whatever people do to uh, have a living existence, like urinate, defecate, etc., wherever you feel like, and it's no longer illegal. It's That's constitutionally, right. given constitutionally you. It's a God-given right for you to uh, humiliate society. All right, but um, all right, we're out of time. I we are out of time. I want to play Leon Panetta. All right, no Leon Panetta for, for you today, but tomorrow it's going to be a wicked fire breathing dragon of a woman Wednesday show. Somebody's birthday, and uh, it's also my birthday Hopefully tomorrow. We get some of these women to pop out. I may out start of a cake. celebrating. I've already started celebrating. You might want to notice here, um, but I may start celebrating early today, and that may go through. So Lord knows what shape I'll be in tomorrow, but I can tell you this: I'll be here, same bat time, same bat channel. All right.